Welcome to this special edition of the YTCN, the YouTube Cruise News news show where we usually talk about what everybody else is talking about in the online cruise community. This week's episode is dedicated to one, just one topic, something that I've almost avoided completely on this channel, but I just decided it was time to talk about it and I have a secret, something that I haven't told any of you yet. All right, the topic of corona on cruise ships or the increased risk of getting corona because you are on a cruise ship. In case you don't know, I did five cruises in 2020 two in January before the ish hit the fan, and then three more between the end of the summer and the end of the year. The last cruise I was on was the MSC Grandiosa in October around Italy, and it was great. And as I mentioned in recent videos here on this channel, uh, there are still cruises being offered here in Europe. MSC is still cruising with the Grandiosa around Italy. The Mindshift 2 is cruising around the Canary Islands. Costa is offering a couple different routes. So there are actually options. It's not recommended at the moment, but cruising is still possible here in Europe. However, just a few days ago, there were four confirmed cases of Corona found on the Mindshift 2. Mindshift 2 is a ship that I cruised on. It is the first ship that I cruised on after the first lockdown. And that was also a really great cruise. There's videos about it on my channel. I think most of you have seen them anyways. But so that was the one I did alone where I wasn't with Marcus in the gigantic suite. Oh. A gigantic suite. So I know the ship, I know the operations, and at the moment, if you want to cruise with TUI, you can only fly from a German airport. It's like you have to book this entire package that is all TUI. So you fly with a TUI machine with, as far as I know, only other passengers who are going to the cruise ship. You get tested before you board the ship. There's temperature checks every day. There's mask regulations. There's social distancing regulations. There's only up to 60% capacity, but from the, the reports that I've been hearing, it's way, way less than 60% at the moment. Then something new has been added since the last time I cruised, and that is now they are also testing people on the last day before they fly back to Germany. And that is where these positive tests appeared. Four passengers tested positive and were basically immediately sent into quarantine. In a recent video uploaded to Heather's Travels channels, no, just one channel, Heather's Travels channel, Heather Travels channel, this. She went into really great detail about why she doesn't think that testing should be necessary to travel because she thinks it's kind of be, it's gonna be ineffective. And I guess, Heather, here you go. There's the proof. Somehow, four people still managed to get corona onto the ship. Like I said, the four passengers were immediately put into quarantine on the ship. And once the ship got back to port, they are now put up in a hotel for the next it's either 10 days or 14 days. Me and numbers, we don't get along. Plus, they were able to track down other passengers on board who they were in close contact with, as well as crew members. So it's around 20 people, I think, in total, who once the ship got back to the main port, were put into a hotel for quarantine for the next 10 or 14 days and all expenses are being paid by the cruise line. So what exactly does this prove? First of all, as far as I'm concerned, it proves that the media will blow things out of proportion no matter what, because in some media outlets here in Germany, it's been reported as a Corona outbreak. <laughs> An outbreak is not for confirmed cases. An outbreak for me would be now if like hundreds of people who were on that ship now all of a sudden start testing positive. That would be an outbreak. Four people who went into quarantine and then the people that they came into immediate contact with also going into quarantine. And as far as I know from the reports I read today, those people haven't tested positive. That is not an outbreak as far as I'm concerned. However, it does also show sometimes the results of tests can be wrong. And it proves that maybe their test results weren't wrong and maybe the people were just not showing enough bacteria or whatever 
when they boarded the ship and then a week later it was enough. And I'm gonna tell you my thoughts about the whole thing and if my thoughts about traveling and cruising have changed, as well as my little Corona secret, right after this short commercial break. I've never done one of those on YTCN yet, so Premiere, okay, knowing that this has happened now, did this somehow change my opinion of whether or not or how soon I wanna cruise again? To be completely honest, no, not at all. I wasn't planning on cruising within the next few weeks, and this can always happen, and that is part of the, the risk I think you have to accept anytime you basically leave your house nowadays, because you don't know if the people around you are gonna be wearing their masks properly. You don't know if the people around you are gonna keep their social distancing. You don't know if the tests are gonna be false positive or false negative. Unfortunately, that, those are all things that we can't control. The only thing you can control is how much you actually go out into the world nowadays or not. And going shopping or going to the main station and riding a train outside of the city or something nowadays, for me, I feel like that's almost more risk than it is to be on the ship. Getting to the ship, for me, is the, the risky part. Being on the ship, after all the things that I've experienced on my three Corona cruises now, that seems like the safest place to be at the moment because everybody's getting tested before and after and temperature checks every day. And yeah, I mean, four people still somehow managed to sneak Corona onto the ship, but I guess we'll have to see what happens now with the rest of the passengers, I mean. All right, I said I had a Corona secret and just spoiler alert, I did not have Corona. As far as I know, I didn't have it. If I did have it, I had no symptoms or very little symptoms. I, I haven't been sick. However, this is what I never talked about because I just didn't want to make it a thing. After my cruise on the Grandiosa, one or two days later, I got an email, or I think even two emails, from MSC saying that somebody who was on that cruise tested positive for corona after they got back home, and this was only a few days after the cruise. Now, for whatever reason, that wasn't something that ended up like widespread in the media here in Europe where this mind shift case now is popping up here and there. And so technically at that moment, I could have totally freaked out and thought, oh my gosh, I may have come in contact with somebody who had Corona, but honestly, every time you leave your house, you may have come in contact with somebody who has Corona. So for me, it really doesn't change anything. Like I said, I'm not planning on cruising within the next few weeks. I will not confirm or deny that a couple weeks later, I may or may not be planning to cruise or a few cruises that may or may not be with MSC or Mindshift or even Costa. It's all rumors, not confirmed. At this point, I'm just gonna wrap it up and I am so interested to hear from you. First of all, how do you think TUI handled this situation when you consider that not only the people who tested positive, but the people who were confirmed that came in close contact with them were like immediately snatched and put into a hotel on the mainland and that TUI's paying for all of it until they've all tested uh, negative several times or gone through the quarantine period. You know, for me, somebody who doesn't have a lot of responsibilities here in one place, I don't have any kids and, and you know, I can do my work wherever I am. Having TUI pay to extend my cruise and put me up in a hotel for two weeks in Spain right now. I mean, as long as I didn't get sick, I mean, like have a lot of really bad symptoms, I, I almost would look forward to that. I know that sounds really weird. I don't know. You know what I mean? If I were then to come down with some really bad symptoms or get really sick, of course I would rather be at home, but at the same time, then I would be exposing Marcus to it and that's not cool. And the other thing I wanna know is, would this change your opinion? So let's say you had a cruise with Mindshift and by the way, nothing was canceled or postponed. The next cruise happened just like normal, and so that's my question. If you had a cruise with the Mindshift 2, like next week, would you cancel it now, or would you not change your plans? Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Please keep it polite. I don't want to read any kind of name calling or, oh, 
how long has this been like that? I don't want to read any kind of name calling or judging of people who do or do not do what you want to do. I would just like to hear what you think about it. And in this week's Sunday Sofa Time, in just a few days, we're going to be looking at all the food I had on the MSC Grandiosa. And some of it was pretty darn good. Some of it was also not so good. See you there.